Mike Blitz right here with the Daily VS. Uh, from what I understand, there's a little bit of confusion about how coffee should actually be made. Some people don't even know that there's an option outside of drip. So, Wait, what's uh, a drip? Just in case people don't know what that means. I actually have a drip machine. It's quite an antiquated <laughs> uh, thing. So here, see so that it's standard old coffee machine. It really doesn't get used. That's uh, we used to have that for. I don't know what, what we were thinking. Uh, really, it's pretty ridiculous thinking back. So, uh, what we have here is the press. Okay, this is really once you once you've gone to the press, you'll never go back to drip. This is a Bodum. Uh, I actually really like that brand. I think I think Doug, Chris, and I all use the same brand. So, uh, first step in the press is. You're gonna have to have one of these because if you are getting your coffee uh, pre-ground, uh, then then you're not. It's nowhere near fresh. So we're gonna take our coffee beans, drop them in here. By the way, my my French press is actually pretty huge. Uh, most of them are about half that size. So if you go to the store, don't feel like you got to get one that's that big. All right. So I'm gonna throw this in here, and what I'm gonna do is because we're we're doing a French press uh, and not drip. We're gonna just do it till it's coarse. So I've got a coffee grinder that tells me it's gonna tell me uh, when it hits that that coarse button. So well, we don't want it to be too fine. So we're coarse. I'll take my grounds. Now, if we were making an espresso or something like that, we would go. Uh, really, we would go more fine. So, here. Now, I know not all of y'all are fancy like me, but I was fortunate enough to have instant hot water as a way to go. And if you didn't have instant hot water, you'd have to you have to boil some water up. But you wouldn't you wouldn't want to put boiling water in here. You would want to bring it to a boil, let it cool for a couple minutes, and then and then pour it in. I was gonna say, Chris Moore would get on to you if you didn't let it cool for a couple minutes. Yeah. So this hot, this instant hot water is not boiling. It is just short of boiling. So um, I made a, the appropriate amount. If I wanted to make go all the way to the top line, I would put more coffee grounds in. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna stir that all together and you're gonna let it cook. You're gonna let it steep there. I'm gonna put my my lid on here. Trap that heat a little bit. So, minimum amount of time for it to cook is four minutes. After four minutes, I'm gonna press this down slowly, and then I'll pour a fresh cup of hot coffee. We'll return with that footage here in a second. Okay, we're back. It's been four to five minutes, and our coffee is done cooking. So, I'm going to demonstrate how you should press your coffee. Place your hand here. Press it slowly. You don't want to jam it down. You're going to let it seep right through all the way to the bottom. Oh, yes. That's right. Done. Now, Woo! I'm going to turn this around so I can pour. And then I'm going to pour into the mug that makes you stronger. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful sound. The pouring of coffee. Enjoy.